And like every good story, a sequel is bound to follow. In July, we saw Ubisoft Forward, a chance for Ubisoft to share what they've been cooking in the kitchen. And of course, in true fashion, they didn't disappoint, giving us a selection of what they've been working on. Likewise, Waking a Sleeping Giant, the return of Watch Dogs Legion news and content, the tipping point video to the gameplay overview, but Watch Dogs Legion wasn't the only thing to be shown, it was an all-star showcase from Ubisoft, with the world premiere of Far Cry 6 and cameos of Ghost Recon, Hyperscape and of course Assassin's Creed Valhalla, that night was magical. The event closed with the promise to be back later this year. And here we are. It's soon. Quite soon, actually. Less than a week. Thursday the 10th, and of course, I'll have the time zones for you in the description down below, with a pre-show an hour before the time on the clock. Thank you once again to Hilbert Gilbertson and the rest of the Watch Dogs Reddit team for making my life a little easier with small things like that. But before then, in true Ubisoft fashion, they had to get us excited releasing an amazing short trailer with hopes of big news and new games. Likewise, the announcement of Gods and Monsters having a name change to Immortals Phoenix Rising. A new trailer for Watch Dogs Legion showcasing Nvidia's ray tracing and DLSS technology. It looks breathtaking. And of course, a few free games. The first being the first Division game and Far Cry 3. Likewise, like the previous event, Ubisoft is offering some cool in-game rewards. Now, I'm not a For Honor or an R6 player, but it's a nice touch to see, as well as a Hyperscape item and a new Watch Dogs Legion mask. Something I would suggest people watching this to do is to maybe go and link your Ubisoft account with your Twitch account now to avoid the rush and the storm like last event when everyone was trying to get stuff. Big brain players only. Personally me, I just want to see a return in the classics. Even Nintendo is out there right now with the remasters. Just one Splinter Cell game. Or a Rayman 3. Driver. Brother in Arms. Just give me that nostalgia one more time. Please? I think this is a good opportunity to maybe dust off some books left long forgotten on the Ubisoft bookshelf. Beyond Good and Evil 2. Rainbow Six Quarantine. And of course, Skull and Bones. All games, when signups came out, I signed up for instantly. Where are they now? Or like Lost Legends, will we ever see them return? I honestly can't wait to see what they bring to this event. If it's anything like the last, it will be a night to remember. I certainly won't be missing it. I go back to uni a few days after, so content might be a bit patchy around the time. But I will certainly try and keep you in the loop and do a rundown of what we see from the event. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and tell me what you'd love to see at the show down below. Thank you, good night.